What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handheld, we got you covered. Today we're gonna be taking a second look at Call of Duty World War II. I got a couple of questions from some viewers asking me how it is I got the game to run, what are my settings, because apparently they've been having issues getting this game to execute which was news to me because I didn't have any issues getting this game to run at all. This is despite the fact that according to Steam, Call of Duty World War II is not yet supported on the Steam Deck. So I decided to go ahead and reinstall the game so we can take a look at my settings and see how exactly I got this game to run. Before we dive in guys, don't forget to hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. We got a lot of Steam Deck content coming and you definitely don't want to miss it. So one question that kept coming up is which Proton are you using to run the game? And when we go into my settings, you can see here I'm not actually using any specific Proton or forcing a specific Proton to get the game to work. As you can see here, it is unchecked. There is no force proton and when we leave it unchecked i believe the steam deck will choose whatever proton it believes will work best with the game so i just leave it up to the steam deck to choose the proton so let's go ahead and see if we can actually launch into the game now and remember this is a fresh install i haven't done anything this is a fresh brand new reinstall of the game let's see what happens when we launch it Okay, so it pops up with a message just saying that we did not quit properly last time and it's asking us if we want to boot into safe mode and we'll just say no, we'll just click to get rid of it. All right, and the message is gone. We are booting into Call of Duty World War II. All right, and we are in the game. Let's go ahead and go to campaign. All right, we'll go ahead and select the mission. For a month, we've been tightening the news around the last escape of crowds to be rolled towards Paris. But like a corner of Bradley, you can... If we're going to make our mark, we got to be ready for any time. Like teaming up and we got the cutscene while the mission loads. And while we're waiting, for the mission to load, just want to say if you notice any blurriness or if you notice like it looks a little bright in some some areas, that's not how it actually appears on the screen. That's just how it comes across in the recording because of the camera. And I've been tweaking the settings of the camera to try to get it as close to how it actually looks in the actual game or on the actual Steam Deck. So just kind of bear with me on that. I'm still working on the, the best settings to record this. And boom, we're in the mission now. And you guys have seen, I haven't had any issues, no errors popping up, uh, nothing. Really just the game works. And I didn't do anything special as you guys can see. We'll go ahead and um, play through a little bit of this mission so you guys can see that it is working properly. Here's a quick peek at the graphic settings that I'm currently using. All right, guys, so as we can see, the game appears to be running just fine. The game runs smooth. It looks very, very good. And I didn't have to do anything special. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, leave a like on it. Subscribe. So you guys don't miss out on any of our future content. Like I said, we got a lot of content in store. I do also take requests. So if there are any games that you guys would like to see running on the Steam Deck, let me know. If I have the game, I'll go ahead and make that video for you. And if I don't have it, I might just go ahead and get it. So just let me know down in the comments section, guys. You guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.